Battle Control initialized. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Red Alert Global League Season 9 Minions Round 3. In the upper left hand corner, we have Moods with the colorful moniker playing as Germany. And in the lower right hand corner, we have Icenithal playing as Ukraine. Let's go to the production tab. Slight advantage from Moods in deployment of his barracks. Total of three oil derricks on this map. The center one covered by razor wire. Impervious to troops unless you force fire command onto it. Both players following the exact same build order. Uh, coming out with five riflemen and following it up quickly with a engineer. I see Thal is going to check out the center, or rather check out uh, Moods' base. Moods going for his natural oil derrick at the southern side of the map. Both players going double ref. And I see Thal finds out that Moods has riflemen on the field. Sometimes much better idea to try to get the riflemen around the back side of the base if you're going to do the scouting. Both players sitting on their refineries for a few for about two seconds each. Isenathal finds a static position and holds Moods off from the northern derrick. Both players on one oil derrick. And Moods moving towards the center of the map. Moods' force is converging, but his engineer is out in the open. Wow, that was a close one. Moots is able to find a static position and wipe out its Icenithal from the center of the map. He's got total control now. At 2 minutes and 26 seconds, 15.9 actions per minute from Moods and 21.4 from Icenithal. Isis comes out first with his War Factory <clears throat> and queues up a flak truck. Moods is anticipating this, queues up a light tank. I see Nathal with a service depot in the queue. Moods going for a third refinery. I see Nathal moving towards the southern oil derrick. That Moods has left unguarded. He's going to capture that one. And I see Nathal finds a static position just slightly before Moods. But in comes the light tank and deals quickly with the rifleman. I see Nathal is going to get the capture before Moods gets down there. Moods coming out with his own service depot in four seconds. I see Nathal out with a service depot, but not producing heavy armor. I see Nathal with a flak truck decimating the forces of Moods. And his engineer follows it up, but gets sniped. Line of sight disadvantage. Let's take a look at things from Moods' perspective. He's got good awareness across the field, not so much for Icenithal. Whoops. Both players on five harvesters. Moods with control of two of three of the oil derricks. And drops off his... Engineer and gets sniped by the flak truck. The flak truck goes down to the light tank and a large army force for Mycenathal. Um, attacking into this position might actually work, but 
He doesn't have line of sight advantage. There's the first heavy tank of the game. And Ice is going to follow that up with an MCV. Moods has got a large force at the back of his base. Back, back at his base, rather. And Moods is going to try to hold this position to no avail. He might even lose... Well, we'll see what... Yep, Ice decides to uh, destroy that oil derrick instead of continuing to fight over it. And a couple of rocket troopers sitting out at the expansion point of Isenathal. Isenathal moves in for him. And Moods comes in with his main army force. Both players with their first expansion. <clears throat> And this is going to be, oh, a War Factory expansion. Very interesting. With no defensive structures queued up, I don't think he's going to hold this position. Moods consolidating his forces, keeping the tanks in the front. Isenathal doing the same, rallying his forces, trying to move those tanks up front. But Moods is all over Ice's first expansion. His tanks are far ahead, though. The army not trading well, losing tanks right off the bat. And line of sight disadvantage for Moods. Pulls back to preserve his main army force. A big army value advantage of nearly 3,000 for Moods. He decided to eco up before he uh, came out with his service depot. Which puts them at a slight disadvantage when it comes to tanks. But ice is nearly uh, broke at this point. Moods trying to hold that position... Trying to save his Derek, but that's not going to happen. Totally loses his army at that point. Army value is nearly even now. Seven Harvesters, Moods. Six for Isenathal. And Ice is going to go after Moods' second to last oil Derek here. Both players about even in actions per minute. Moods finds a flank. Moods moves in. Troops first. Line of sight disadvantage. Trying to find some kind of position here, but... I don't know. I guess he, he thinks he's got an advantage here. Moods decides to pull back. A large force headed towards Moods' main base. Good positioning by that heavy tank. Moods pulls his main army back. Moods is up to his second expansion. And not focusing on the eco. Isenathal is trying to destroy that pillbox. He had a chance to uh, take out one of those harvesters at least. He might still get one. Nope. Moods moves in at the nick of time. Isenathal totally broke Moods with double the income. Moods deploys another pillbox, moves out his main army, doesn't have to deal with the uh, troops down there anymore. Moods now with control of the entire top of the map. Isenathal moving forward with a... Well, not a very big force, to be perfectly honest. Isenathal is going to try to go for the eco lines this time, it appears. Line of sight provided by that power plant gives away the army movement. Pops a pillbox and deploys his main army. Mood's trading very well. Line of sight advantage, armor advantage...
moods up to eight harvesters and one oil derrick to Isenathal's six harvesters and zero derricks. Ice is still strapped for cash and moods has nearly doubled the income once again. Army value advantage for moods. And repairing his tanks with uh, mechanics, which is free compared to repairing them at the service depot. Both players about even in actions per minute. And Moods is trying to find a flank here. Going to the far left-hand side of the base and rolling through with his tanks, absorbing the fire from the flame towers. And rotates his army to face the main forces of Isenathal. Moods trading well, preserving his infantry corps, lots of vetted, double vetted, and even some general soldiers rolling through with those tanks and finding good crushes. Totally absorbing fire. Moods focusing on the production structures of Isenathal and doesn't focus down that flame tower. Goes for it now. Ice calling good game at 11 minutes and 33 seconds. 576 to 371. Let's go to the production tab. <clears throat> I see Isenathal and Moods nearly even until Moods starts getting a starts recapturing those uh, oil derricks. He still has one left at the end of the map or end of the match rather and uh yeah moods focused on uh ecoing up which turned out to be a really good idea because ice just started running out of cash he wasn't really able to expand uh because moods was cont was contesting this ore field here pretty early on in the game so uh putting putting your enemy at a economic disadvantage early in the game is super important and it's a great strategy both players about even in army value up until minute six when moods economy just allows him to start pulling ahead and committing to battle events which uh you know just wears down isenathal but really the game i would say was over as soon as ice was denied this ore patch um you know being behind with the Oil Derricks definitely doesn't help either, but if you can't expand, you're dead. All right, so that's the first game going to Moods. On to game number two. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Red Alert Global League Season 9 Minions Round 3. We've got Moods in the upper left-hand corner with a colorful moniker playing as Germany. And in the lower right-hand corner, we have Isenathal playing as Ukraine. Let's go to the production tab. Both players dead even in production of their barracks. A total of two oil derricks on this map, and if I remember correctly, yeah, two hospitals. So Isenathal, as the Soviets, he's going to want to go for those hospitals. Uh, Moods comes out quick with a engineer on Agita. We've seen a lot of this map, and it's a very interesting map. There's um, there's an opportunity for a denial of the enemy's natural oil derrick, and we may just see this right here. If I seen it all keeps pushing, Moods doesn't have any troops up at the front, just sending in that lone engineer. I seen it all possibly could have pushed. But I think that opportunity is lost now. Ice trading well into that conga line, but superior numbers wins the day. And Moods staying on point with uh, deployment of his buildings despite the action. Not the best placement of that refinery I gotta admit it's a few squares away from the uh, from the ore patch there
two harvesters out for moods, two harvesters for Isenathal, and each of them with their natural oil derrick. And Moods is going to move up north and intercept that Engineer. And there goes Ice's Engineer. Double vet for the Rifleman. Moods has got both... Uh, he's got both hospitals covered, and I'm just... I'm... Oh, boy. Okay, so some bad... Uh, honestly, some bad ore refinery placement from... I seen it all. He's he really could have gotten that closer. Okay, so the way that mood's built out, he's got his power plant here. He went barracks, and boom, he's got two ore refineries on a double ore patch. Uh, I seen it all has to contend with this spot right here and this spot right here. You can see, even though they're completely even and material, moods has got a five hundred dollar advantage at two minutes and 58 seconds in the game. We'll see how this turns out. I see Nathal coming out with his uh, service depot. And we might see a 420 build from him, but I don't know if he's going to have the eco to back it up. Moots is on three refineries and attacking the oil derrick of I see Nathal. Both players with good eyes on the field. And that flak truck pokes out the guarding soldier from Moods. Moods sitting on his service depot for a few seconds there. About to finish up with his ore miner and goes right for the MCD. A pretty big open map of Gita, and I like to see the expansions because, uh, well, there's a lot of expansion points. Each player has about three natural expansions, and, uh, you know, on a map like this that's so big, it's hard for infantry to cover ground. A map like Dual Cold Front, small one, not super important to expand right away. Five seconds until Moods' MCV comes out. 20 seconds for Isenathal. And Moods is wearing down that oil derrick. Ice responds. Moods just a little late pulling it. And survives. Wow. Moods comes out with his first expansion. Still floating, still with an eco advantage. Both players on five harvesters. And I think Moods might lose this Derek. He's got no answer for this right away. Moods with a medium tank on the field. I see Nathal, 20 seconds. Oh, he's got one out. He's got a heavy tank out, but it's not on the field yet. Moods with medics as well as two hospitals. So I think he's just denying those hospitals and the cap coming in from the engineer. Hopefully the light tank doesn't give that away. Very close, very close. He's got it. I seen it all calling good game at five minutes and 58 seconds, 99 to 17. Let's go to the eco graph. Um, not a lot to say here. Uh, pretty early advantage from moods. Uh, that all had to do with his advantage uh, placing his ore refinery. So in a Gita, I really like to see the players go for the double ore patch right away because it's a sure thing. This ore patch takes a little bit more expansion to get to. And um, yeah, Moods just had it from the beginning. Choosing his battles wisely, preserving his infantry corps, but uh, I mean, that was, that was a spicy maneuver right there. That engineer from Moods coming in and capping 
the expansion MCV for my Cenothal. I Cenothal, I don't believe, even had a uh, defensive structure queued up. Let's go to, to the army tab. Uh, Mood's coming out, you know, fast and heavy. Just doing a really good job controlling the early game and... Uh, yeah, like I said, choosing his battles wisely. We didn't really get to see a whole heck of a lot of action here. Um, just puts his tank out front. Really good textbook example of why you should have a tank in a formation. Provides a line of sight and a lot of soaking. So, that's both games going to Moods. Red Alert Global League, Season 9, Minions, Round 3. Battle control terminated.